Our other big story tonight at 11, a nation uh -huh. divided after a surge in hate crime since the election. One organization is pointing to a growing number of hate groups. And several of them in our own backyard. News 5's Megan Hickey tracks them down. Megan, what did you find tonight? Rob, hate and racism have become buzzwords this election season, but many of the groups on that list say they're not to blame. We reject the president elect. Cleveland is talking about hate and the hate crimes that have surfaced across the nation since Election Day. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, more than 700 incidents since November 9th. The group is best known for its hate map, which identifies 892 hate groups in the U.S. Five of them right here in Northeast Ohio, including a branch of this group, the neo Nazi National Socialist Movement. They call us a hate group. The real hate group is the enemies, the Zionist state, the international Zionists, and these white race traitors and scumbags. And the group's commander said he was pleased with the outcome of the election. We didn't specifically endorse Donald Trump for president, um, but we are happy that he was elected. So was the leader of another local group on the Southern Poverty Law Center's list. He's an outsider that, that, that is, uh, is going to, uh, I believe, make America great again. Janet Porter is the president of the group Faith to Action, and she's argued that gay marriage will send Christians to jail for their faith. For, uh, you know, 5,000 years of recorded history, it's one man, it's one woman. Not a hateful thing, uh, a pretty reasonable and rational thing. She strongly disagrees with being called a hate group and says that Donald Trump was the answer to her prayers. It's a, a great day to be alive in America. I've said it, but I, I can't stop saying it. As the anti Trump protests continue to form, it's a divide that seems to be getting wider. Donald Trump has got to go! Now, two black separatist groups and a general hate group also make that list. As of this evening, they had not respond, responded to my request for comment. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News 5.